to the InfoWars Nightly News. It is Thursday, August 8, 2013. I'm your host, Leanne McAdoo. Here's a look at what's coming up tonight. Tonight, the IRS joins forces with the DEA against American citizens. Leanne McAdoo interviews sheeple who enjoy being spied on by the Stasi. That's what they did in Nazi Germany. And Alex Jones talks to Jakari Jackson about his paramilitary run-in with the police. I am in my apartment, sir. Go back inside right now! I am inside. I'm, this is my door. I'm standing right inside my apartment. All this and more on tonight's InfoWars Nightly News. Sir, I'm inside my apartment. Tonight's top story. Details of a DEA program that feeds intel to federal agents and then coaches the agents on how to cover up where they got this intel, it was published in a manual being used by IRS agents. A 350-word entry in the Internal Revenue Manual instructed agents of the U.S. Tax Agency to omit any reference to tips supplied by the DEA's Special Operations Division, especially from affidavits, court proceedings, or investigative files. Senator Rand Paul, a member of the Homeland Security and Government Affairs Committee, said he was troubled that DEA agents had been trying to cover up a program that investigates Americans. Paul said, national security is one of government's most important functions, but so is protecting individual liberty. If the Constitution still has any sway, a government that is constantly overreaching on security while completely neglecting liberty is in grave violation of our founding doctrine. Why is the IRS working with the DEA? Who are these goons? I thought they were just snooping on our Facebooks and deciding if we qualify for Obamacare or not. Now they're working with the Drug Enforcement Agency? Reuters reported on Monday about the Special Operations Division, and they raised the issue with recreating the investigative trail. They said defense attorneys, former prosecutors, and judges say the practice prevents defendants from even knowing about evidence that might be exculpatory. They say it circumvents court procedures for weighing whether sensitive, classified, or FISA evidence must be disclosed to a defendant. So much for that fair trial. I spoke with some Austin residents here who still don't see how this illegal spying is an issue for them personally. So what do you guys think about the NSA spying program? Uh, no comment. I have yeah. no comment whatsoever. So are you cool with it or? I'm kind of indifferent about it. You're indifferent, but it's illegal. Okay. NSA, uh, <laughs> I have no clue. Um, no idea about anything that's going on. The National Security Agency is spying on all your telephone calls, your emails, your tweets, your Facebooks. They have the cameras and the televisions now. It's cool. I I'm feel like not a fan okay. of it, but I also have nothing to hide. I, I don't really have an opinion for anything about that. Me personally, I'm not that interesting as a person. If they do happen to find anything that they want to bring to my attention about me, but you don't care about the Constitution and the fact that we're in America and there are certain laws and rights that people have fought for hundreds of years to put in place so that this kind of thing wouldn't happen? I definitely do care about that, but I also believe in the safety of our country. Why is it okay if Obama breaks the law and does something illegal or that whole administration, but if you or I break the law, we go to jail? I am not sure that I understand the thrust of the question there. Uh... The thrust of the question is, it is illegal to spy on Americans. In fact, the NSA is spying on your every single tweet and text and phone call. I feel like if you honestly thought that now is the moment that you're realizing that, you're a little behind the times. I actually don't know anything about politics. This isn't politics. This is about America. I'm not nearly as upset as a lot of people are. I'd rather be in a safe country. Does that concern you at all as an American? I think it concerns me, but at the same time, I, the, the stuff that's going through the Texas legislation right now concerns me way further than this stuff. You can read my tweets and my emails all you want, but please just keep me, give me the right to choose what I do with my body. When it comes to civilian privacy, there should be some sort of say of what the government can and cannot do. Um, there is. It's called the Constitution. Okay. The job of the, the Congress and the President is a tough job. But I know they have a conscience in what they do. You, I, I know. But they're, they're droning and killing innocent children and people in other countries. I think that if I'm doing something that offends you, you have every right to 
Arrest you. Call the police on me, not arrest me. If someone in authority wants to do something bad to you that's within his authority, he can. And that's not going to be stopped anytime soon, and it's not a recent development. So you're just going to lay down and take it. Like, you're cool with the fact that America is f***ed. Like, we're going down the tube. That's what they did in Nazi Germany when they would tell and like all the gay people and all the black people and all the Jews got put in camps right. because their neighbors were telling on them right. to for the Stasi. I mean, is that, that's cool? No, but are you referring to government spying in today's society at, to Nazi Germany? Yes, I am. Okay. Why did you find it funny when I thought that Everyone telling on their neighbors here with the whole see something, say something, and I referred it to Nazi Germany. Why was that funny to you? Uh, in any sort of debate, uh, eventually if it goes on long enough, someone will bring up Hitler or the Nazis. It's like gotten to like a silly point where like it doesn't, like probably doesn't make any sense. But see, don't you think that that's something that stops people from having an intelligent discussion about where this is headed? No, I absolutely don't. And that's why we have a constitution and you're innocent until proven guilty. It's America. That's why we have these rules in place. But that's how they're proving you guilty, right? By <laughs> butting into your business and listening to what you have to say and stuff? That's been happening forever. It's not an American problem. It's a, it's a problem with humanity. Kind of like Nazi Germany? Uh, and actually, you do a lot of gardening, so do you realize looking up fertilizer and things, you're probably already on a list. Totally, yeah, and seeds, and we have aquaponic systems, and we're, all, we're on every list you could possibly be on, so I figure, what's the worst that could happen, you know? Uh, oh, you're a, so you're like a survivalist. Wow. Um, terrorist right here. See, yeah. Obama, we really could get yeah. struck down Lost by terrorists <laughs> at any time. But Obama thinks that all of us are idiots. Obama just went on Jay Leno last night and said, We're, there's no domestic spying program. I mean, he thinks you're an idiot. I haven't heard anything about that in particular. He thinks Americans are idiots. <laughs>that is what I find so shocking. It's not that people feel powerless to stop all this corruption. It is that they literally do not care. And it's not just the IRS that's cashing in on all this criminal activity. Ex-Border Patrol agents warn us that politicians are helping drug cartels in the U.S. In an open letter to the public in late July, several retired Border Patrol agents wrote to warn that Mexican drug cartels are actively operating inside the U.S., spending millions every year to try to build their networks here. They said American politicians are protecting their activities. Most heroin, cocaine, meth, and marijuana that's marketed in the U.S. is produced outside of our country and then smuggled in. The placement of trusted foreign employees inside the U.S. is imperative to ensure success in continuing to supply the demand. Members of these transnational crime syndicates are already well established in more than 2,000 American cities, and their numbers are increasing as networks expand and demands accelerate. These transnational criminals present a real and present danger to all Americans, and they live among us. Sanctuary cities established throughout the U.S. discourage even the most basic law enforcement initiatives within their boundaries against these predatory criminals. The retired Border Patrol agents called on Congress to abandon efforts to grant amnesty to illegal aliens because passing an amnesty would be akin to abetting the drug cartels. This explains why we have all of this ludicrous illegal aliens that get caught child sex trafficking and smuggling drugs across the border, and then police and politicians will just slap them on the wrist and send them back across the border. It's because these drug cartels are actively working to get politicians elected who are just going to continue to aid and abet their criminal activity. On Monday, RT reported that Mexican drug cartels are also hiring U.S. military personnel to carry out murders. In exchange for cash or drugs, some American servicemen are working as hitmen or teaching gangsters their skills. As of April 2011, the FBI National Gang Intelligence Center identified members of 53 gangs that have served in or are affiliated with the U.S. military. An Army first lieutenant even offered to provide tactical training for members of the cartel and to steal weapons from the U.S. military. But don't worry, the U.S. Army no longer takes in applicants with gang tattoos.
The important thing about the Pro One filter today is that the material we use for removing fluoride and other heavy metals now will remove the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid. There's no other fluoride reduction filter out there that will remove that type of fluoride. And it's extremely important because today we're hearing more and more cities are using that form of fluoride. We've been having medication forced on us through the water system for quite a while. Most people don't realize it. Most people don't realize the negative effects of fluoride. There's a wide range of health effects that are attributed to fluoride. Bottom line, why should somebody get this new Pro One Pro Pure filter? The reason to buy the Pro One, it's an all-in-one filter. It's convenient, easy to use. It doesn't require the add-on fluoride filter. And in addition, this filter removes the latest form of fluoride called hydrofluorosilicic acid.